Hello everyone. So uh, today again we are continuing with our uh, previous topic that is a linear data structure in that we are uh, having the stack, right? We have already seen the applications of stack, right? And uh, in that we were having that conversion of expressions, right? So basically we are having two types of conversion that is infix to prefix and infix to postfix conversion. So let us see that. So yeah, we are having this two infix to postfix and infix to prefix conversion. We have already seen the direct method of converting this into the previous lecture. So uh, today what we are going to see that we are going to convert this infix to prefix, uh, sorry, infix to postfix using stack, right. So ultimately we are using the stack for converting uh, from infix expression and as you know that infix expression that is uh, like we are having operator in between two operands, right. So as you can see here we have A and a B and the operator is between that. So A plus B, this A plus B is known as infix expression, right. And uh, postfix that you can see that uh, operator is always uh, after operand, right. So first we have two operands and then we have the operator, so A, B plus, right. So for A plus B for this infix expression we have the postfix that is A, B plus, right. This conversion, this direct conversion we have already seen in the previous lecture, right. So today uh, what we are going to do that we are going to use this stack, right. So first let us see the algorithm for that. So here we are assuming that x is our arithmetic expression that is in infix form, right. And uh, algorithm, uh, we are having the algorithm to find the equivalent postfix expression and that postfix expression, uh, the resultant expression that we are going to get in y, right. So uh, first step what we need to do, so we, uh, we need to push the opening bracket that is uh, left parenthesis, right. So we are going to push the left parenthesis onto the stack, right. And at the closing bracket or we can say the right parenthesis at the end of the x where x is our arithmetic infix expression, right. Now the second point what we need to do, we need to scan the x, so x uh, that is our infix expression, we need to scan it right from left to right and repeat the step 3 to 6 that is the following step for the each element of x up to until the stack is empty, uh, well, uh, we have to do it for one by one for each and every character whether it is an operator or an operand we need to do it for the following steps, right. So first thing if operand is encounter, if uh, we are scanning one element and if that element is operand, so what we need to do, so we need to simply add it to y, so add means push, right, so simply we need to do the push operation, right to the y, so that y is our postfix expression, right. Then if a left parenthesis that is opening bracket, if it is encountered then what we need to do, we need to push it to the stack, right. So that stack s we are having. Then what if there is an operator? Right, so if an operator encounter then what we need to do, uh, we need to repeatedly pop the elements from the stack. Previously we have pushed it, now what we need to do if any operator is there, so we need to pop it right from the stack and add to y, that is our uh, postfix expression right for the each element right. So uh, and again one condition we need to keep in mind that is while we are uh, popping the element, it should have a same precedence or a higher precedence than the operator already available there, right. So uh, that condition we need to follow, right. And then the second thing uh, that or add the operator to the stack, right, we need to add the operator. So suppose we are having one operator and already uh, there is another operator is available, right. So then we need to check the precedence if we are having a same precedence or a higher precedence, right. So at that time we need to pop the element and then we need to push it to the stack, uh, sorry, postfix expression y, right. Then if a right parenthesis encounter then what to do, right. So if right parenthesis is there then at that time also we, de, uh, we need to repeatedly pop one by one element from the stack and add to the y until there is a left parenthesis, right, until the left parenthesis is encounter that is a opening bracket, right, up to that we need to do it, right. And then last but not uh, that we need to remove the left parenthesis.
right. So, this is a very simple algorithm right uh, for converting infix to postfix. Now, let us see the example based on this algorithm. So, here we have this infix expression right that is a a minus bracket b plus c star d bracket slash e right. So, this is an infix expression and we need to convert it. So, here I have created a table right where I have a scanned character right I have already placed it right scanned character that is nothing we are going left to right and one by one each and every characters are scanned right. And here we have this check that is our intermediate check and this is your postfix expression. So, this is your y right where uh, we are ultimately getting the output right. So, first as you know according to algorithm the first step that push the opening bracket right and add the closing bracket to the end of the x right. So, the same thing we are doing over here right. So, we are adding the opening bracket right to the stack and we are adding one more closing bracket at the end of the x right. Now, here as you can see the first scanned character that is a right and as you know a is an operand right. So, what we need to do according to our algorithm we need to push it to our postfix expression y. So, we are pushing it over here. So, here we have a then so it will be same bracket then we have a minus right. So, as you know that minus is an operator right. So, we need to push it to the stack right this is stack s. So, we need to push it to the stack s. So, we are already having the bracket and along with that a minus right and a would be as it is right. Then again what we are having again uh, opening bracket. So, again we need to push it to the stack. So, we will have like bracket minus bracket right and a will be as it is. Then what we are having? We are having b right and as you know that b uh, is an operand. So, we need to push it to the postfix expression. So, we will have this and here we have a and b right. Now, next what is uh, what we have that is plus and as you know that uh, if operator is already there then uh, we check the precedence, but here we do not have any other operator we are having opening bracket. So, there is no issue with that we can directly push it right. So, here we have bracket minus bracket plus right and a b would be c right. Then we have c and as you know that c uh, is an operand. So, we need to push it directly to the y right. So, we will have this minus this would be same and here we have a b and c right. Now, uh, next character that is multiplication symbol star asterisk sign right. Now, as uh, you know that uh, asterisk is an operator right and we already have another operator that is plus available as a top on the top of my stack right. So, at that time we need to check the uh, constraint right. So, constraint is what if it is having a higher precedence or a same precedence then we need to pop it out right. But as you can see is plus is having lesser precedence than star right star is having higher precedence. So, simply we need to push it right. So, here we have plus and a star and a b c would be c right. Then there is d right. So, what we need to do again as you know it is an operand. So, we need to simply push it to the stack. So, we have this a b c d. Now, there is a closing bracket right. So, if closing bracket encounters at that time what you need to do you need to repeatedly pop the operator one by one and push it to the postfix expression y right. So, here as you can see that we have this right force that is star right. So, we need to pop that star and push it to the expression. So, here we have this star right. Then the next we have a plus because we need to pop it until one opening bracket is there. So, here we have this opening bracket. So, in between that we are having two operators plus and star. So, we cannot directly uh, push it like first plus and then star because uh, it is based on stack. So, in a stack uh, star would be popped out first right and then we will push it to this and then plus will be there. So, plus would be here and we need to just remove the bracket right. So, uh, we will discard that bracket. So, what we have now uh, one opening bracket and a minus symbol and here we have a b c d star plus right. And then if you check uh, 
slash slash is an operator and if you consider if you compare again slash is having higher precedence than minus that means minus is having low precedence that means simply there is no need to pop it out simply push it right so we will have this minus and slash right and this would remain same that is a b c d star and plus right now here we have e next and as you know that E is an operand, so simply we need to do A, B, C, D, star, plus, and E, right. Now next as you can see this is added by us that is the last one closing bracket and here we have this opening bracket. So in between whatever is there we need to repeatedly pop it out and push it to our postfix expression, right. So here we will have this A, B, C, D, star, plus, E. Now, first element to be popped out is slash. So, we pop the slash and push it to the postfix expression y and then we have a minus right and then we need to discard this remove this opening bracket. So, at the end you will have this as an empty stack right your stack s would be empty and here you have your postfix expression. So, this is your resultant answer what you are uh, searching for right. So, uh, for this infix expression we are getting the answer that is a b c d star plus e slash minus right. So, I hope you understood this right. Uh, we will see one more example right. So, here we have another example that is a, a little bit complicated one. So, here we have a plus in a bracket b star c minus bracket d slash e cap. Now, here this cap is exponential operator right. So, you can consider it as a power symbol right f uh, bracket over star g uh, closing bracket star h. So, uh, here we have this uh, this example I have already done it right. So, I will just explain it right. So, first what we are adding we are adding this opening bracket to the stack s and along with that we are adding the closing bracket to the end of our uh, x right end of our string x right. So, first thing we are having this a. So, a is an operand. So, we need to push it to the postfix expression right. So, here we have pushed it right. Then we have a plus that is operator. So, we need to push it to the stack. So, we have pushed it to the stack right. So, we have bracket and a plus. Then again we are having opening bracket. So, simply opening bracket is there. So, we need to push it to the stack s. So, uh, bracket plus bracket that is the answer we got after the step 4 right. And here we have a only. Then b is there. So, b is an operand. So, uh, simply we need to push it to the postfix expression. So, we have a b over here. Then star is there operator simply push it. So, uh, bracket plus bracket star and here we have a b right. Then next is c. So, C is an operand. So, simply push it to the postfix expression. So, we have A, B, C over here and this would remain same right. Then next is minus. Now, here you need to uh, like uh, keep in mind you need to uh, like because we are having this star and a minus both are operator. So, that means we need to check for the precedence right. And if you check star is having higher precedence here I am writing that star is having higher precedence than a minus right. That means at that point what we need to do uh, we need to pop the element right pop that operator and push it to the postfix expression. So, this star has been popped out and it is pushed in the postfix expression and this minus uh, minus should be uh, pushed into the stack as so here we get the answer that is a bracket plus bracket minus and here we have a b c star right. Why? Because star is having higher precedence than minus right. Now, next again a bracket is there so simply push it right and here we get the same one then d, d is an opera, uh, operand so we need to push it to uh, postfix expression. So, we have a b c star d right. Next we have a slash again no issue with that because uh, before it uh, bracket is only there. So, you can simply uh, push it right. So, here we have a bracket plus bracket minus bracket slash right. 
Then next we have E simply push it to the postfix expression. So we have A B C star D E right. Then next is cap right cap that is uh, you can consider it as a power right exponential right. And as you know that uh, cap is having highest priority highest precedence right. So cap is having higher precedence than a slash so there is no need to uh, pop the element right pop the operator simply push it right so sim you are having two operator over here right so that is slash and uh, cap then we have f f is an operand so simply push it over here so a b c star d e f right then closing bracket is there so if closing bracket encounters then at that time what you need to do you need to repeatedly uh, pop the operator until opening bracket is there and push it to the post fix expression right. So here first we have the cap so that means cap would be first and then we have slash so slash would be here right and what you need to do you need to remove the opening bracket opening bracket you need to remove it right so what we get that is bracket plus bracket minus right. Then next is star right so and as you know that a star is having higher precedence than minus minus is having lesser precedence than star right so uh, there is a no need to pop it out simply push it so you have this that is bracket plus bracket minus star right and here we have a b c star d e f cap slash then the next uh, uh, character that is g as you know that is an operand so simply push it to the postfix expression so we will get a b c star d e f cap slash g. Now next is closing bracket so again same thing uh, as soon as the closing bracket encounter you need to pop all the operator right until opening bracket is there and pushed it to the postfix expression right. So the same thing you are doing over here so first star is popped out and push it over here then minus is there so we are pushing minus over here and then remove that bracket so we are removing that bracket right. So here we have that is bracket and plus right then we have star again you need to check the precedence uh, plus is having lesser precedence than star right so you need to simply push it out so here you have and here you have a b c star d e f cap slash g right and uh, next what we need to do here we have this h so as you know that h is an operand right so simply push it so we are pushing it over here right and then closing bracket is there. So as soon as the closing bracket encounters what you need to do whatever is available there until the opening bracket you need to pop it out and push it to the uh, postfix expression. So here uh, we have this star and a plus right and we need to remove that opening bracket. So here your stack S is empty and we are getting this answer that answer is A B C star D E F cap slash g star minus h star plus. So that is your resultant answer. So yeah that is all for today right. So I hope you understood both of the example right. You can try by yourself as well. You can take multiple examples and solve it right. And you can check the answer if you have confusion with this you can check the answer with the direct method. I have already explained you the direct method as well right. So you can uh, do the uh, conversion in a direct method as well as using the stack right and you can compare both the answers so you can get it whether your answer is correct or not right. So yeah that is all for today thank you very much.